Hey everybody, today we are opening two packs of Wild Survivors and three packs of Battles of Legends and Monsters Revenge. So you know we have some, uh, we have some unfinished business with Monsters Revenge because last time I got basically nothing out of this. But I'm looking at the TCG player and it's basically like you get a quarter century secret rare, collector's rare, or you're just not going to make any money back. There's a couple good secrets in here. Uh, we're looking at a IP Masquerina, Water Entrance, en Entrench, Entr oh my god, Enchantress. Uh, no punk cards here and there, some Sky Striker stuff. Um, and an A.A. Zeus, of course, of course, who's also getting reprinted again in another new set. Um, but it's basically like, these two sets are like the opposite thing. Like, you need to get really lucky with Monsters Revenge, but Wild Survivors actually just has plain a lot of good reprints and a lot of good rarity bumps to already good cards. So, it's a, it's a bit more of a more well-rounded set, whereas Monsters Revenge, you're really just chasing. You know, you're just chasing a Collector's or, or Quarter Century Secret Rare. Or one of the, um... Murdy Bumps, uh, Uzi Butters, oh, come on, don't do this again, Mr. Pack. Um, Murdy Bumped, uh, already good cards. Across, oh, Teller Knight, cool. But I'm assuming he's not really worth handing. What is it? Uh, two or four detached, three materials from this card, wow. Special summons for every deck, one, uh, extra deck, one Xyz monster, does one rank higher than this card, except a number card. Oh, okay. You detach seven materials from this card, skip your opponent's next turn, wow, okay. That's like a blowout card if you can get it to go off. But uh, I would assume you do not get it to go off very often. Alright. Uh, there we go. So I think the most expensive one is Bestial Lubelion, I believe. Bestial Lubelion is that collector's secret. Uh, Sprigget Care, that's a cute card. Mother, no, we're going next. Oh, another Teller Knight, okay. Well, let's let's just look that card up specifically now that we have two of them. Uh, Teller Knight, okay, so it has to be like a quarter century secret, whereas this is, uh, this is not, this is just a regular secret. So, unfort. It's okay. Next one, this is going to be the one. This is the one where I get, this, I just get crazy uh, rarity. Rarity pack where everything's a uh, prismatic and collectors and quarter century secret rare, right? Right? It's, 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 it's gonna happen, right? Oh, this guy, the butler guy? Yeah, pretty whatever. Odd eyes and profile support. Oh, courageous Crimson Chevalier Bradman Tite. Cool. Yeah, I don't think that's worth anything either. Eh. Eh. You win some, you lose some, right? What if, what if this entire opening was just terrible? Wild Survivor's time, let's go. Come on, this sets, sets a little more consistent. Let's get, oh. Let's go. And you know what, I'm just gonna open up the, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of this packaging. You guys saw the first time I opened up Battles of Legend, uh, Monsters Revenge, I really was not the biggest fan of this packaging, trying to figure it out. I mean, it makes more sense now that I have it all said and done, but, uh, yeah, still not a big fan. All right, uh, let's just open up that page. Okay, Giant Rex, nice, cool, cool to see as a rare. Vanquished Soul Doctor Madelove, that's a cool name. There can only be one. I mean, that's a great stable card, but I'm, uh, yeah, at this point, uh, pretty cheap. Vanquished Soul Doctor Madelove, I've never even heard of that card. All right, one last pack. What do we got? There we go. Ooh, inc incantation. And a Hungry Burger. Manju. Nice, good card. Oh, wow. Are you not even... Uh, oh, no, there's, there's a Hollow. Hollow Hungry Burger. Whoops, sorry. Um, So that's just a super rare, so I'm assuming that's not really worth hanging. Hey, True King, though. And Soul Eating Over Raptor. I mean, th those aren't bad cards. Gonna do a price check, but I'm pretty sure that's just a formality at this point. Okay, a uh, a pretty 45 degree angle mouth face turns into a smile. Dr. Madlove is uh, usually around 15 to $20. So let's read this card real quick. Maybe I can try and understand why. Uh, this card is normal social. Oh, it's a Vanquished Soul card. Duh, this is a new um, new ace archetype. Uh, pretty strong archetype as well. So the Teller Knight's worth nothing, but the Courageous Crimson... Uh, Lady, the, the, this girl, um, like 50 to 50 cents to a dollar, so that's pretty good. Hungry Burger's just fun to have. Yeah, this Wild Survivor set, I think it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like looking, looking at these cards, like that's that's a pretty good, um, 
like a mixture of just cool cards. So yeah, I'm pleased.